properly, yeah? Yep. Okay, so we're at um, Frogsham Community Hall, and uh, I was giving a reading to these two ladies here earlier on in the show, and I remember getting this name, Hunt. Hunt, 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 it came in from the spirit world, and then I got this J Hunt, but I thought I could also get G Hunt. But you were able to take both of those, weren't yeah. you? Could you just, for the benefit of the recording, tell me who those people were? Yeah, the J Hunt was my mum, J the G was um, Gertrude. That's right. Gertie. Gertie. And I was getting this feeling of like a prickly sensation all over my body that was extremely uncomfortable. And then as I got that sensation, you said, that's what my mother was like, didn't you? Yeah. And then I said, well, was she the same lady that passed with uh, liver cancer? Yeah. Uh, and I believe that's, that was correct, That wasn't was a it? part of the liver cancer. Was um, the toxins in the body coming out of it, and that's what made us scratch. Right. All the time. So you can see from that part of the reading that she was mentioning about the discomfort she experienced at that time, but is no longer there. But clearly, it was giving her a problem uh, during that particular point. And I was also coming up with some comical things where the door was hanging off yeah. in the kitchen. Do you remember that yeah. part as well? Yeah. And what what what? what uh, you could, what door was that then? It was one in the cupboard, it was a kitchen cupboard um, the dog had actually knocked half it off so it was hanging off its hinges um, and I used to open it and it always fell off on my tail. That's right, that's yeah. right. And uh, the other thing I seem to uh, remember saying to you is that I could see this oven and someone had a habit of leaving stuff on, this lady was telling me, leaving stuff on the oven, going out to the room, coming back in and no matter how many times you'd burnt yourself before, something always made you grab hold of that handle without anything to protect you, and you'd burn your hand, and you could yeah. take that, couldn't I you? I still do it now, but when I was younger, I actually burnt myself with hot vegetable soup. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I burnt my hand and my stomach. That's right, because you mentioned, because I said there was a scar yeah, was, on your hand. Yeah, there was on my hand, because I've got a few. Yeah. So, yeah, she, uh, she would probably remember that. Well, you were expecting this lady to come through this evening. Just be quiet as you go. You were expecting this lady to come through this evening, where you were sort of saying, I think she's going to come through, and she does come through. You said she comes through quick or something. Oh, yeah, she be a straight talking person. She, she'd be straight to the point and with the hunt and do that, I'd be my mum straight away. That's I right. I thought all night that she was coming through. I kept on saying I had this good feeling that yeah. she was going through. But she was, I've been here before. She said, you know, no, well, she's not going to come through because I've been able to, but it's never happened before. So I'm telling you now, my stuff is doing backflips. And then when you said hold, I went, oh my God, I told you. <laughs> I told you she'd come well, through. Well, <laughs> just, there's... The great thing, though, from your point of view, is that she actually came through by a surname yeah. mm -hmm. and the first initial. Because when they do that to the person in the audience, it's pretty strong evidence that they're there mm -hmm. with you then. Because when uh, people phone us up, for instance, for reservations, we just take initials. We don't take any names at all for that reason. And you never gave your name at any point, did you? No. So I wouldn't have any full knowledge whatsoever no, of the we, came, we, we paid at the door so we've never been paid for tickets or anything so and I've never been before so there we are so my we mum's always with me anyway because I have to see my mum that's right I've seen the legs because we were talking about apparitions before yeah. weren't we I've seen the legs she, they went, she went past me not long after she died and I knew it was her because there was nobody else in the house except the children they were asleep well that's marvellous now so we're going to close this in a moment but has it made you feel a lot better about the, the presence of the spirit people knowing that there was a pretty accurate identification by your mum yeah, yeah. that she was around? Does that make you feel a lot better, oh, doesn't yeah, it? yeah, definitely. That's brilliant. So yeah. I'd like to thank these two people here, and we will put this on our website with a lot of people out there who I hope will get some comfort and reassurance from this fine Frontium community. Well, thanks so much there, folks. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. All right. thank thanks you. so Just much.